Hey, this is Mike. Just checking out this 2013 Chevrolet Camaro in Summit White. Now this one does have the 3.6 liter V6. And uh, pretty sharp looking car. You see in the front got the RS written there fog lights projector headlights and looks like an LED accent around the headlights which is pretty cool looking it's kind of windy today so if you excuse that I know that it's probably gonna have some wind noise on this video I really like the wheels it's kind of like a matte finish aluminum wheel I got a set of Pirelli's, 20 inch Pirelli tires. Now it does have remote start, so I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. You just have to lock the doors. And then hold this button here. Now it does have a backup camera. Right there is the lens for the backup camera. It has backup sensors too. It has dual exhaust. Now I'm going to go ahead and open up the trunk. You can see it's space here has a pretty good amount of space inside but the the opening is kind of limited the spare tire is under there but it's a little bit of a pain to do it lift it up and show you with one hand so I'm gonna skip that this one does have aftermarket tint on the glass Unlock the doors using the key. Here's the inside of the front door. We do have premium Boston speakers. There's a place to open up the trunk. Powered windows and door locks and side mirror controls are there. You have some stitching there on the door. And this is kind of like a like a plastic material here. Kind of looks kind of futuristic. Pretty cool. I really like the way the seat looks and it's pretty comfortable the seat itself is comfortable there's your power uh, seat adjustments there and they are heated I'm gonna hop in now one thing to consider I have this seat now that since I used uh, actually I'm gonna go ahead and turn everything on because I use remote start, I still have to put the key in and turn it in his on position. But one thing to consider in this vehicle, when I get in and I have the seat all the way down and all the way back, I'm still kind of limited on headroom here. My head is actually touching the top and I'm six feet tall. So and getting in and out as you can see it's kind of a little bit of a, a chore there it's not it's not the easiest car to get in and out of and it's not a, it's not a huge amount of headroom it's not I mean if you're more than six feet tall then you are pretty much gonna have issues there trying to you know drive this thing now I guess you could put the seat back but you're then you're just reclining so just kind of closing the door and I'm bumping my head on the top here so just that you know if you're six foot or taller you know you want to test drive a vehicle like this and make sure that you're going to be comfortable in it um, you know before you go shopping all around and inspecting every feature in them because uh, you know it might be a deal breaker just in that all right now this is going to be a challenge here 
to get this on camera, maybe. Let me put the steering wheel down. Because it does have the reflection up in the... I don't know if you can see that. It's clear as day to me with my eyes. Let's see if I can zoom in, maybe. There, okay. That helps. Basically, it has a digital speedometer reflected in the the windshield so when you're driving along you know you kind of like you're kind of like see the speed right there in front of you so and I'm not sure if you can turn that off but I mean it's pretty convenient you don't have to look down at the speedometer but um I mean it's it's pretty neat and I don't know if there's any other messages or anything if it's just the the speedometer or if it's any other kind of messages will be there but I thought that was pretty neat so let me zoom back out. Put the steering wheel back up. And the only reason why I put the steering wheel down is so I can use the camera, aim the camera right there. I mean, I can see it fine with my eyes. So here's the steering wheel. Now, back behind the steering wheel, back in here, you can see your headlights. And you do have automatic headlights here. You can see it kind of, when you close the door, it kind of wraps around. Steering wheel is kind of sporty looking. It is, looks like the same steering wheel that's in the Chevrolet Cruze. And it does have some plastic paddle shifters back here. And uh, so, I mean, that's, they're probably pretty durable, but they kind of feel like they're kind of weak. Like if something were to snag on them, they might break off. They don't feel like... Um, like the Chrysler products will have metal ones there and they just feel a little bit more sturdy. These are kind of, you know, kind of, I mean, they're probably just fine. It's just, you know, just kind of explain it the way I see it. Here's your headlight controls. Or probably, let's see here. That's for your fog lights, I guess you can say. I'm not sure. I'm not. I hadn't spent a lot, a lot of time with this car, so some of the things may be um, conjecture, but you know, I'm just kind of showing you the car. There's your cruise control, obviously. On this side, you got your, your volume and stuff for your radio. There's your gauges. And it has a digital speedometer there as well. Here's your radio. I do like the stitching here, and I like the way the kind of the dash looks overall looks pretty cool real low it has a, such a low ceiling that the visors are really tiny I don't know if you can see but it's just like a little tiny you know just a few inches of visor there right, let's go here to this screen um, it has these like buttons here they're not really like touch buttons, I guess you can say. Let's go to the menu. Has Pandora, XM radio, AM, FM, stuff like that. And it does have Bluetooth to where you can pair a phone and answer it through the system. It does have a lot of customization here. Digital temperature outside, digital clock. Then you've got heated seat controls here in the center. As well as your climate controls around. Just, just your fan there. Your temperature on that side. Then you got some gauges, they're kind of hard to see from my angle. There's oil pressure and uh, voltage, oil temperature, and transmission temperature. But from my angle, they're kind of hidden, or you know, you kind of have to move your head around just to see them. You do have traction control that you can turn off there. You do have a power supply here. And there's your shifter. Now I'm going to put it in reverse so you can see the backup camera. And it has a wide angle display, so you can see pretty good. And here's your this whole center console here. Um, it's kind of high up. 
separates you from the, the passenger there. Cup holders, this opens up here. And that's where your uh, USB port is and auxiliary input. There's your glove compartment, which is pretty good size for this this size vehicle. Now up here, this is pretty cool. Let's see if I can get it on. Really need to get a good view of this rearview mirror because the rearview mirror looks really awesome. Probably the best ones I've seen. Um, man, I wish a camera would. The sun's. I'm gonna have to move the vehicle because this is kind of neat. I wanted to show you, and it's kind of like aiming towards the sun, so it's causing a problem with that. Alright, so now Yeah, there's the rear view mirror and it has like a like a silver futuristic look to it, I guess you can say. And it has your own star button there and I guess voice control there. And I'm sure it's auto auto dimming. But I don't know, it just has a really classy sporty futuristic look to the to the mirror itself and I don't know why that kind of stood out when I got in the vehicle and there's your garage door controls here and um, does have tap lights here now it does have a sunroof and you can adjust the sunroof with this button here so I can vent it and open it up stuff like that And it also has a shade. And as far as the headroom, the sunroof doesn't help if you open it up because the sunroof's kind of like not above your head. So, <laughs> so let me go ahead and pop the hood so we can look under the hood. Six liter V6. And I notice there's a trend on vehicle manufacturers now that they just cover everything up with a big old sheet of plastic. So you can't really see the engine. And I'm not a fan of that. I like to see some metal when I lift the hood. But hey, I guess some people just like to see the plastic. But anyway, if you have any questions, I'll try to find out the answers. I know I'm you know, not an expert on Chevrolets, but I'm um, just you know, showing you what it looks like and how I see it. So if you have any questions, my phone number and email address will be in the description. See you next time.